Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda and today I would like to share with you all of the books that I added to my Goodreads TBR during the month of November. All right, so during the month of November, I only added, I think, four, one, two, three, four, five, five books to my Goodreads TBR. I have gotten so far behind in really like consuming any media. And so, um, yeah, I have not been getting as many um, recommendations as I normally do, but that's okay. Um, so I have five to share with you today. The first of which is The Midnight Library or yeah, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This is just one that I've seen a lot of people talk about and didn't really have any one person that recommended this one. Um, it's really, really popular right now, and I've read Matt Haig's middle grade series, The Boy Called Christmas, The Girl Who Saved Christmas. I have Father Christmas in me, but I have not read it yet. Um, and so I want to try some of Matt Haig's adult books, and this is one that has been getting a lot of praise. Um, it is about, I think it's about like a library that it's like an alternate universe thing where you can go there and see what would have happened if you would have made different decisions at different points in your life. And it's following one main person and following her down different paths, I think. But I added that one because I've heard a lot of really good things about it. All right, the next one that I added is A Sky Painted Gold by Laura Wood. This is one that I heard about from Desi at Darling Desi. She does the Gilmore Girls Readathon. And when that was going on, she did a video that was books to read if you like Gilmore Girls. And this was one of those books. Um, honestly, I added this one because the cover, the cover looked beautiful and the premise sounded good. Um, it sounds like it is a... It's set like Gatsby-esque, so like in the 20s in England um, at an estate, and it is about a like 17-year-old writer, I'm guessing it's probably YA then, who is curious about this estate, and then somebody comes there for the summer, this family arrives for the summer, and they have a boy, um, actually I think they have two kids, but she starts getting to know them better and kind of forms a relationship with the boy. And so it's like um, people from different means uh, getting together kind of like in Gilmore Girls with Lorelai's family. So um, that one sounded interesting to me. Um, all right, another one that I added is The House That Lou Built by May Respicio. Respicio. And actually, I think I have this one out from the library. Yes, I do. Um, I have this one out from the library right now. This is one that I found when I was doing a like Google search for diverse middle grade books. This one came up and it is about a Filipino family, I believe. Um, yes, who it's this girl and her mom who live with their large Filipino family, extended family, and she kind of wants some space for themselves. So she takes woodshop class in school and decides that she's going to build a tiny house for her and her mom to live in. So that sounded adorable. So I added that one to my Goodreads TBR. Another one that I added is called The Librarian of Boone's Hollow by Kim Vogel Sawyer. This one was fun. Um, I have been putting a lot of books on hold at my library lately and whenever I go in to pick them up um they're always like in the same spot and whenever I would go in to pick them up I would always see the same book on the shelf next to like where my holds were at this one was there for a long time um and it was just sitting there and the like uh color palette of the cover looked intriguing to me and then it's about a librarian so I'm like okay I need to look into that we'll come to find out it is about the pack horse library which I read about earlier earlier this year I read both the giver of stars and um the book woman of troublesome creek which are also about the pack horse library um in the 1930s 40s um down in Kentucky and so I think this one is Christian fiction um, and it's about the Packhurst Library. And so that just sounded interesting to me. Um, so I added that one. And then the last one on this list is called The Yellow Bird Sings by Jennifer Rossner. And this is one, um, I am starting up a book club and I was looking for ideas for books for book club. And so I did like a Google search for 
good book club books and this one came up for that um but it is a world war ii historical fiction about a mom and her young five-year-old daughter who's a musical prodigy and they're hiding they're in hiding they're jewish they're in hiding and the five-year-old is having a really hard time keeping quiet because she just wants to make music and she wants to move around because she's a five-year-old kid. And so to try to um, accommodate that or to um, squash that, her mom starts telling her this story about this bird who will sing whatever the little girl composes in her head. So if she thinks it in her head, the bird will sing the song. And then it kind of follows the story of the mom and the daughter as things become more dire and what kind of happens with them. But it just sounded like such a cute, not cute, but like heartbreaking premise, but interesting premise at the same time. So that one got added to the TBR as well. So that's it for November. Um, yeah, it was a short list, but really good books that I added, so I am happy with that. So as always, if you've heard of any of these books, I would love to hear your comments about them down below in the description box. And yeah, if you have any books that you think that I should be adding to this list, let me know and I will look into them and see what I think. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time, see ya.